Well, now, you know, we actually did our full 90 miles when we were back there in Jamestown at the winery. But I'm backtracking a wee bit because I'll tell you the truth, I'm famished. And we've heard tell of this wonderful little cafe here in historic rugby, a small town here on the Cumberland Plain, where they do a combination of Appalachian old uh, home style cooking and British Isles fare. A strange sort of a hybrid, but I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely starving. So let's go in and get some dinner. Check it out. Beautiful place, here I am, the Harrow Road Cafe. The producers called ahead, so I know they're expecting me. Time for dinner. Oh, Sarah, that looks marvelous. Oh yeah, it's good, hearty, country-style cooking. Mm. Well, that was absolutely terrific. And I'll tell you, from my point of view, they certainly have covered the proper British Isles traditional cooking. The soup was wonderful, straight from the old country, Ireland. I was born and raised on that type of soup. The shepherd's pie is wonderful, slow cooked, roast beef, simmered down with vegetables and a nice thick gravy, real mashed potato topping, terrific. Had a wonderful time, I highly recommend it, very nice. We bumped into Barbara Stagg, who is the uh, community director, sort of the, the big wheel that takes care of everything around here. And she really is the, the keeper of the flame and keeping this tradition and history alive and ongoing. And it really is a, a noble quest. I mean, when you come to a place like this, it really, you have to take your hat off to these folks because it really is something to try to keep this alive and vibrant. In a, in a time of microwaves and tater tots and pizza bites. You know, it's really nice to see home cooked food, tradition, the old ways. There's something to be said about finding your future by looking in your past. And this is the place to find it right here. Hello, Hi. Chef Garrett. Barbara, how are you doing? How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah. Okay, we talked a little bit and you told me about what I can see. Yeah, this is the original room. This is built, what, 1882? 1882. Absolutely yeah. amazing. All these books, all from that era? They uh, cover the mid to late Victorian uh, reading period. Uh, no book in here is probably later than about 1892. But you, could be, uh, you could be a rugby columnist walking right. in here. So I want to see it, these yeah. cookbooks now well, and we see what those folks were up to. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of things sprang from New York. So this, this New York cookbook, I think, is the center of the probably universe, the center of, of the universe. It was then, since they couldn't be in London anymore. Yes. Uh, but the art of cooking, a palatable, digestible, and economic manner. Carving and arranging the table for dinner parties, etc. And also, most cookbooks had many medical and miscellaneous receipts that are extremely useful in the family. So this is all uh, part of the title. Yeah, this is all the title of the book. <laughs> the yeah. title takes up a whole page. <laughs> it's got some remarkable, I caught a little thing in here where they're giving measurements for a recipe and it said, rather more than a large pinch of salt was needed. <laughs> Not a tablespoon, <laughs> not a tablespoon and a half, but rather more than a yes, large pinch. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we do use a few of the recipes in some of these cookbooks at the Harrow Road Cafe. Saw that last mm -hmm. night. I figured that a lot of what they're doing there actually has been handed down from recipes cold yes, right here in the, certainly in the, in the, some in the of library. Has, especially our tinkering with shepherd's pie yes. to, try to, to yes. try to get one that people thought tasted not so bland today. Right, and but, a little but, different yeah. from what yeah, they're finding. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, they, yeah. they're doing a great job there, yeah. and this, this is a, a treasure. Yeah. It is the oldest public library that is fully preserved in America. It's at the very forefront of the public library movement. Well, it's and a credit to you and the people in the community that it's been uh, kept up like this. Extraordinary place, 130 years old, looks better than me. So we started our journey at Razzleberry, terrific handmade ice cream store. 
where they're also making smoked sausage, the old fashioned, old world traditional way. We went to the winery and met Butch, who's doing a remarkable job there and making some extraordinary wines right here in the heart of Tennessee. Who knew? Shepherd's Pie at the cafe, right here in the historic rugby. And uh, this incredible library where I managed to grab a few recipes of my own. <laughs> and I'm going to head home now in the rain. And I think I might make something right out of one of these old 100 year old cookbooks. So uh, all this only 90 miles from home. Cheerio.